It's super confidential with this guy, KTLA 5's David Lazarus. Yeah, and he's here. The stock market really liked the inflation numbers. Sort of. Sort of. I, okay. let, let's say that today's gains were modest gains. Earlier today, after the CPI, the Consumer Price Index numbers came out, showing that inflation last month eased from the month before. The market rallied a bit more. Dow was up by a few hundred points. It ended the day up 104. It pulled back. Now, the story here is clearly that last month inflation was running at 7.1% from a year before. That compares with 7.7% in October, again on an annual basis. That's a sign that we're definitely moving in the right direction after months of interest rate hikes and a resolving of some of the supply bottlenecks that have lasted throughout the pandemic. But uh, the market has quickly shifted, and that's why I think we saw the pullback in stocks today. Now traders are focusing on tomorrow's expected interest rate hike from the Federal Reserve. A half point rate hike is widely expected, and it's been priced into share values. And that's why the market was up today, but not too much, because now it's just the guessing game. What what is Fed Chief Jerome Powell going to say tomorrow about going forward as we move into 2023? The over under right now is that the Fed will continue to ease back on monetary policy. And yes, there will be a few more rate hikes in the first quarter, maybe a quarter point here, a quarter point there. But it could be that by the time we reach the second quarter, boom, we're done with it. And that would be a good thing. So traders will be watching very closely tomorrow for what little clues Powell will convey. In the meantime, well, the, the interest or the inflation rate might be good overall. But when you look at specific sectors of the economy, it's a slightly different story. Well, inflation interest rates are one thing, but one thing it's uh definitely impacted by all of this is the price at the grocery store. Exactly. And I think for many consumers, along with rents, that's the biggie out there. What's going on with food prices? And when you drill down into the CPI numbers, it's not good. As I said, overall last month, inflation was up by 7.1% from a year ago. But supermarket inflation up by 12%. Restaurant uh, prices up by 8.5%. So there's a lot of things going on here. For example, eggs. They were 49% higher in November than they were from a year ago, but that's a factor primarily of bird flu devastating the poultry industry. When you look a little more closely, you see not just disease, but also extreme weather in parts of the world, the war in Ukraine, and obviously supply bottlenecks. Those are all having an impact on food prices overall. Butter up 34% last month, milk 15%. Flour, 25%. Bread, 16%. Fruits and vegetables, 10%. And wait for it, coffee up by about 15%. Is there no end to this nation's suffering? Mm -hmm. Guys? Don't care about the coffee. You're going to keep That's just it. wrong on every level. <laughs> that's right. I'm exactly. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Boy, that's a that's a No, I out of my do wallet. care about that. Oh, okay. Coffee. That's what we're yes, talking I'm about. Saying, exactly. I'm still going to do without champions. other stuff. Yeah. Have that, right? <laughs>